Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So we have here a comparison video whether, you know, you deem Cherno is the best or you deem life is the best. So we're going to be comparing it here um, more on the actual demo on, a, on two specific bosses that we are actually going to pit them against. So I um, just want to go through all of the things, just a summary of each of these operatives and more or less uh, give an idea on how i am seeing them starting off with cherno so single smg ammo is 80 a little bit less with uh, with life so if she had double smgs as well kind of i think perfect for her kit so she does damage over time or dot um, damage over time for basically mobs coming her way far out, not, you know, coming in quick. Nuke damage, she charges well for a very, very big nuke damage. So, strength, single target, multiple targets, ignores multi-part, you know, uh, damage or multi-part bosses. Um, really ignores that. Uh, goes straight to the boss for damage because of that nuke. Weakness is going to be close quarter areas and rushing enemies. So this one, she will need help in supports. Like, for example, supports that have control. Like, for example, um, freeze. She will need that because if, she, if, if, if enemies are near her, she's not going to be doing much but the supports will be able to save her again she's radioactive what can i say and the next one would be life infinite side so dual smg ammo is going to be 100 burst damage um is going to be her key in, in dealing damage skill rotation specific so you do have to make sure that you you are tuned to her skill rotations so that you can optim optimally deal damage so strength single target and multiple targets as well um especially her ultimate her ultimate is geared really for multiple targets not so much for single enemies or single bosses weakness is going to be multi-part um what do you call this multi-part bosses yeah multi-part bosses or enemy so more or less um it's going to slow her down because she has to break a couple of parts to to make the boss dizzy. We're going to be dealing that with the mech later to show an example. Number five is going to be the fun factor. And of course, she is hotter than Cherno. So what can I say? We will be checking out Cherno first. The build that I have. Um, um, comment down in the comment section if you think my build needs a tweak uh comments would be appreciated and more or less weapon is at tier two logistics are at 15 most of them at our skill haste and attack so i wasn't able to roll a good alignment index so i stuck with skill haste and attack but i should have alignment index there so again i think i should you know but the alignment index buff is five percent up to fifteen percent of her attack for alignment index as you can see here oops so this multiplier it's not a big multiplier but it's it's gonna give her a bit of an edge not an edge but a bit of a bump in terms of damage not not really you know such a big bump but um for her neuronics again we have six full on uh manifestation sorry I'm at M2 with her. Um, this gets her to lifeless fear. So this one is increased final damage of detonation. Again, um, it's going to be less for life. So moving on to life again. So we're done with her showcase for life. It's going to be... Where is her? Okay, so life infinite sight. Weapon is also at tier 2. Logistics, I have a pretty mixed bag here. Skill haste, alignment, and attack. So, more or less, again, this is 
up for testing. I, so far, this is, is an okay build for me, but I might tweak both in the future. Both actually have, uh, for her, it's going to be kinetic. Chaos damage was actually opened already for Cherno. So all at level 15. Manifestation, though, for this girl is only going to be at M1. So the difference here, the difference maker here is M2, which gives her more damage for dodge shot because again the 20 dodge shot charge is very very useful in charging up quickly her dodge shot so this will play a big role and a big damage again both of them i think have handicaps the other one sure no doesn't have much alignment index this girl doesn't have m2 so again they're they're a bit the same so neuronics is again full let us do a demo guys uh, we'll go to tactical evaluation. We'll do um, two bosses just to compare. Um, phase 12 is going to be this boss. This boss is pesky. He moves around, around a lot. And uh, for phase 11, it's this boss, the mech boss. So hopefully I'll do justice to both of these runs. We're starting off with Cherno, then go with life, then the boss, Cherno, and life as well. So we will go without any supports and see if they can do a good job um, with just a solo run. And also we'll be checking out on how quick they can defeat this enemy. So more or less... There you go. So can't do that again. This enemy, she will have, she will struggle a bit because of the movement of this enemy. So we are closing in on a minute of play. There you go. Ah. Problem with this boss is really the shield. Ow. Not so much for the boss's offense, but the boss's defense. That's it. So. 443 a minute and 17 for that run um so again both are going to be devastating in terms of damages we'll see how quick um life deals with it so minute 17 for cherno so take note of that i think i missed a small part and we're in it could have been shortened to about the minute but again it is what it is and you're doing it solo so there are going to be challenges in this run. I don't have additional damage, by the way, in terms of support. So that is where the handicap comes in. So for this girl here. So I don't have M2, which actually affects my skill rotations. But it's not a, it's not a, what do you call this? An excuse not to perform well. Just have to do with what you have. There you go. We dealt with her and in him in 46 seconds. So probably a difference of 15 to 30 seconds. Again, life is more nimble in that boss. So definitely she's going to have an advantage there. Um, Cherno has a bit more of a setup in terms of that boss. But for the next boss, I think Cherno will have an edge here. This is going to be the mech here. Okay, so another run for Cherno uh, with no support. So technically, it's going to be hard for her to 
be able to be nimble because she needs to apply and she needs to be she needs to you know to have the enemy at a standstill and be able to let us there you go we're at half she really struggles with with a lot of you know pesky damages for this boss so i think this is it there you go so dead in 43 seconds so identical to the other run with li with life with the other what do you call this the other boss so she killed this boss in 43 let's see how life does it because this is going to be a challenge for life again in terms of clearing this boss so we will have life here okay life again with support i was stuck for some reason in in an area and couldn't do a decent speed run so let us repeat that i have to get closer though for this speed run one leg down we're at half okay we're at half there you go <laughs> a minute and two so again she had a little bit of difficulty but again it's still a fast clear so um what am i saying with both of them i'll give you guys my final thoughts on how well they did and how badly they did so with that said okay both have strengths both have handicaps versus specific enemies i don't think the no, one or the other is going to be better S uh, one has specific has advantages over the other one has disadvantages over the other again both of them are good that's you know i hope we could stop this debate whether uh churno is better life is better again try it guys do your own tests um because with that speed run they struggled they excelled and they have their specialties that's it damage wise they are top tier they probably they're on the top of the tier list they could be at the top and the rest would be down in terms of how quick how big the damage they can deal one is quick one is big so that is it so again i'll leave it up to you to decide who is better or not and again guys thank you for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here